Welcome to this week's video. This week's video we're going to be doing a deep dive into the Renault Zoe ZE50 specs that have been released. Yes, there is official figures that have been released on what the new ZE50 trim levels are going to have here in the UK. And we're going to be going into those trim levels, which each of them have, which one I think you should go for and what spec I think you should 100% put on that ZE50 to make it resellable in the future. If you want to learn more about Zoe's, electric cars, electric transport, then the button down below, subscribe button, click subscribe, click the notification bell. And if you give this video a thumbs up, that'll let Google's algorithm know that this is a good video and more people should see it. Let's dive right into how many there is. There's three. There's an entry play model. There's, is it iconic? Yeah, iconic model and the GT line, which we already knew there was gonna be a GT line, which is the top spec. <laughs> Let's start off with the first one, the play model. What on earth Renault were playing at selling this in the UK? I can't fully understand it. I can, I can understand their reasoning and rationale behind it, which is they want to show that you can make an affordable budget EV without sat nav, alloy wheels. Yes, it's got steel wheels on a brand new car being sold in today's market. A manufacturer is making a car without alloy wheels. The play model, which is the base, no spec model comes with four airbags, cruise control speed limiter, front fog lights, one rear bench seat, manual air conditioning. So I'm gonna presume it does not have preheat. Hands-free key card, which the current models do. It has e-shifter with the B mode. So it's, think of it as a more regenerative hardening braking on the, on the gear stick selection. It's gonna have automatic parking brakes so like a radar to stop if someone stops in front of you that's a safety feature all new cars are going to have that now but it's to meet the end cap safety rating customized 10 inch driver's display which is the driver's display in front of you which is it, it seems a bit pointless seeing it's not got some of the other extras on uh, it's got easy link dab radio dab radio and it's got no sat -nav navigation which is why the customized dash in front of you seems a bit silly um, smartphone uh, replication, so I believe that is, uh, well, I suppose sat, no, having no sat nav is not that bad if you're going to have Apple CarPlay and Android because you can just project it onto your screen. So, yeah, I suppose Play Model doesn't seem as stupid now I've read it back and looked at that. It's got six speakers, which is good. C shape signature lighting, which is the lighting. If you've not seen Craig's video from the Renault Zoe Owners Club, he went to go and view the new ZE50 when it came out and he shows what the lights look like. The just beautiful LED headlights so massive massive improvement on the current headlights uh, body color door handles woo okay. I mean you can tell the stretching for extras that the fact they had to mention the the door handles are colored uh, play plastic upholstery so a basic interior just a basic cloth interior nice spec what extras can you load onto the play spec Nick well if you order the play spec which is their base model spec the only extra you can have is you can pick what colour you want. Um, that's it. You, you can't have a. You, it comes with the R110 motor. It does not come with CCS. You cannot add CCS, and it does not come with CCS on the Play model. So this is your mass fleet car of buyers that just want a car that does the range that the Zoe does. They want a cheap car that runs locally, and that is it. It is not for you to buy as a consumer. Do not buy this model. Trust me, do not buy this model. It is not going to have a great resale value in the future. You can, however, change your colour. You can change it to glacier white, diamond black, zircon blue, quartz white, flame red, titanium grey, highland grey, aconite, the purple one. Seldon blue, which is the colour I actually quite like. So your next trim model is your iconic. Think of this as the current dynamic spec. The Iconic model has a lot more spec. It's got some less options, but it's got some more spec. And I have a feeling Renault may tweak this depending on how the sales go in the UK. So that first of all, all the old spec again from the Play model, plus it has a traffic sign recognition software. So I believe it's just gonna tell you, it's gonna read, it's gonna have a camera that reads the road signs, stop signs, giveaway signs. Again, this plays into the NCAT rating. This will bring it up. I'm having a feeling um, the play might be an NCAT 4 and this one, the, the highest bet might be an NCAT 5, but I don't know. There's no test results yet. The next one thing it has is automatic high-low beam. So that means it will 
uh, have a light sensor that knows whether it needs to be high bright beams or low beams. And I think what will happen is if you're driving down the road and you've got high beams on and a car comes the other way, it will automatically dip your beam so you don't blind the other driver. The, the main reason for this uh, is very useful is LED bulbs are mm, crazy bright crazy bright so to have that auto dip feature would be very useful lane departure warning so it will beep if you drift out of your lane i believe so sort of you know semi sort of helpful driving aids climate control so obviously this one's going to have preheat split folding rear bench seat rear parking sensors so same as what um dynamic model has at the moment electric rear windows which now tells me that the play model doesn't have electric rear car windows but it obviously has front uh, one touch driving window now if you're wondering what that is that's the time when you press the driver's down button it just puts it all the way down and pull it up and it goes all the way up yeah again Renault are fetching here for listing extras dab radio with a seven inch navigation sat nav so nice big massive screen in the middle of the car it, it, the new the new interior on the new Zoe's is just beautiful the wireless smartphone charging. So it's got a wireless smartphone charging pad. Put your phone on it, start charging. Pretty much all the manufacturers are doing this. I did a video, I'm doing a video, well, it's recorded on the new Hyundai. That's got smart charging. Same with the Kona and a couple of other manufacturers. Got 16 inch alloy wheels, part leather steering wheel, iconic fabric upholstery, which is 100% recycled. So if you've seen the fully charged video, I'm having a guess this is the recycled yarn uh, made from recycled seat belts and some other various little bits. So that's it's quite it's quite a nice looking interior to be fair. Soft door panels. So I'm having a guess that the play model is going to be very pl hard plastic like the old ZE40, where the new one's going to be all these soft touch plastics. Oh, here we go. Just not that Renault were fetching to list extras on the car. Body coloured door mirrors. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> The extras that you can add on this model is a little bit uh, more comprehensive. You can actually add some extras. The extras that you can add are DC fast charging, CCS, which you definitely, definitely, definitely want to add. Yes, you do. You want to add it. There's no real confirmed prices, but I'm going to guess it's going to be seven, eight hundred quid round about that sort of price point for, for adding CCS. But you, whatever it is, add it. You want CCS on this car when you come to resell it. That will make it more resellable. Dealers like me will want to buy it if it's got CCS because a big battery like that, someone who's not got a home charger, it's more practical to have a fast CCS charging system. So it's 50 kilowatt CCS. And as we know, the Zoe will be keeping 22 kilowatts throughout the entire range. Uh, let's move on to the next bits they've got. It's You'll be able to add uh, some extra quirks to the outside. So you'll be able to add front parking sensors. You'll be able to add rever um, reversing camera and you'll be able to add a 9.3 touchscreen display. So you'll be able to upgrade the, the rear camera, big screen and what else did I say? Oh, front sensors. So you can, you, you can add those extras on. They are additional. So very similar to the dynamic model that you could add the reverse camera. But now you can improve the size of your middle screen. Another little thing that you can add on is you can change the motor on this model. It comes standard with the R110 motor, which is 110 brake horsepower, or you can pay an additional amount of money, which is not written down at all on my piece of paper. Um, you can add it to an R135, which will be 135 brake horsepower. This is an option which is completely up to you. It's not going to be a massive option that's going to make too much of a distance on your residuals like the CCS. So it's a nice option if you want it if you want extra horsepower, but don't see it as I must have it. It's gonna lose loads of money if I don't have it. It's, it's just a nice option to have. So 135 brake horsepower on this motor, and it's the only model which you have the choice of the two motors. Next, moving on to the GT line. This is the top of the range, highest spec Zoe you can get, but it doesn't come fully loaded. It just comes with more additional spec for an additional price. <laughs> I love Renault. <laughs> Renault, don't take it seriously. I do love you, you make great cars, but sometimes some of your pricing and spec options, they just seem a bit bonkers and a bit daft to the rest of us. But yeah, GT line, top of the spec, it gets GT line written on all the door sills, back door, looks lovely. Same as all the other models, they all look beautiful. The GT line comes with a lot of extra additional spec. 
first of all it comes with overspeed protection I'm not sure what that is i'm having a feeling it's uh, just stopping you speeding it has blind spot warning now this is one thing that i do like the sound of blind spot warning is probably one of the best features ever if you've not got your mirrors adjusted properly it will basically bleep in the left hand corner of the mirror to let you know that the you know it's it's dangerous there's a there's a car there i did cover that this the car would have these options on my uh video about four weeks ago before the car got announced these are the things that i knew and predicted it was going to have on the other stuff is the uh, main interior sort of uh, comfort they Renault like to call it so that has front and rear parking sensors rear reversing camera automatic electric folding door mirrors why on earth it wasn't included on the iconic spec like the ZE40 dynamic currently has I don't know uh, ask Renault auto rear view mirror uh, which is an auto dimming rear view mirror so uh, basically if a car's behind you with the high beams on it uh, just adds a little bit of um, tinting to the mirror so you don't get blinded by the mirror nice little feature most cars have that as standard now anyway uh, it's got the 9.3 touchscreen as standard on the gt line so or like i said on the iconic model you could add it on the gt line it's standard it comes with the car uh, you also get the 135 r 135 brake horsepower motor with the gt line as standard if you're going to add 135 touchscreen and some of the other options you might as well just buy the gt line obviously um, so if you were going to add 135 brake horsepower and you were going to add uh, the larger touchscreen and the reverse camera just by the gt line it will be better residual values than buying the iconic model the <laughs> Uh, this is why I love the way Renault spec things. You get 16-inch alloy diamond cut alloy wheels. You get tinted rear window glass, hot stamped grilly. So I think that, uh, if you see some of the photos that John uh, Johnny Smith covered on Fully Charged, the grill has these diamond bits at the bottom of the front grill. So you see these bits here on the new Zoe. Um, rather than just line vents here. It's got little diamonds on it, little bits of chrome. Mercedes have done it on the front of their cars, on their AMG cars. It looks really good. It will, It is an option that I really, really like, and it does sell me on wanting to have the GT line because it's pretty. Now the GT line will come with it will come with fake leather and recycled material, so it's half half a half fake leather with recycled materials in the middle. So it's a, a nice little mix interior on there. Now the GT line, like I said, again, does not come with CCS as standard. This is an option that you must add on. Add it on, do not not add it on. You will seriously regret it when you come to resell the car. If the option is there to add on, add it on. <laughs> the CCS is a must for the new 50 kilowatt battery. Do not buy a non-CCS version of the new model new. Please do not do that. The reason is that when you come to resell the car, the residual value in your second-hand one will be worth a lot less than the one with CCS. That's why. It's not saying if you buy it, it's, it's not going to resell and you're never going to get rid of it. It will still resell and you'll still be able to sell it. It just won't be is worth as much as if you added it. And when I say as much, I mean the cost it will cost you to add it when you buy it new will more than pay dividends in the future it'll be worth what you paid for it plus more than if you bought the non CCS version so add it on you can also change the alloy wheels on the GT line you can go for 17 inch diamond cut alloys if you didn't want the 16s this is the only GT line is the only model now you can add both to this is something that I do suspect Renault to change in the future depending on sales but I do expect them to then move the Boast models to the other spec they kind of did this with the signature model where they wouldn't let Bose on only signature model at first and then they let it go on the dynamic model so I do expect this to change depending on sale figures and how they're doing with sales uh, the other thing is it's got hands-free parking so hands-free parking has been around for years on most cars which is um, it basically you drive past the space it measures it you press a button and it parks parallel parks in the space or parks in a bay park space if you hate parallel parking if you absolutely detest parking at straight lines in Tesco, self-parking systems are brilliant. They are really good. And if you have, if both these models come with diamond cut alloys, self-parking systems 
do not scratch alloy wheels, touch wood. I've never ha used a self-parking system that's hit the curb. So if you don't want to damage your alloy wheels, these systems for parking are excellent if they're used all the time. The, the other thing you can add is a winter pack, which gives you heated front screens. Heated front seats, heated leather steering wheel come with the winter pack. But my sum up of which one you should buy if you want 135 brake horsepower, you want uh, reversing camera, you want front sensors, buy the GT line. You might as well get all the extra bits that come with the GT line. Don't forget to add CCS to it. If you don't want the high brake horsepower, you don't want front sensors, um, you just want a very basic spec Zoe, uh, don't buy the play model, buy the iconic model. Don't buy the play model, buy the iconic model. I honestly do not fully believe that the play model is a good option to buy. <laughs> It's going to be appeal very much to fleet buyers, uh, companies. If if you if you're not interested in if you if you want to keep the car long term, if you're planning on keeping a Renault Zoe for five, ten, fifteen years, buy the play model. If you don't want CCS, it's it's going to be fine. If you if you want a car that you're going to resell after a year, two years, and change again for another another Zoe, a newer Zoe then buy a higher spec model. You won't regret it in the future, trust me. Thank you very much for watching this week's video. Thank you very much to my patrons for their support. If you wanna be one of those amazing people that supports me on Patreon, please go and have a look. It costs as little as like a pound 50 a month. If you also wanna click my other videos up here and consider becoming one of my subscribers. Thank you very much, and I will see you again next week.